We are gonna give you a sneak peek. Actually, we're gonna give you the first look of the brand new Alliance Avenue 37 MBR. This is an absolute prototype rig. We are the very first people to get to film this. Stick around, you're gonna love this floor plan. Everybody wants to know the numbers. Let's start there. We've got a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,420 pounds. This sits on tandem 6,000 pound axles. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 12,460 pounds. It has two 35 80, 16 tires and has 1,900 pounds of cargo capacity. This is gonna be a great trailer. It's rated for full-time living. This beauty has a 2,000 watt inverter and a Renogy solar system. They have an upgraded Kurt Rotoflex pin box. It's got a painted front cap, one piece fiberglass. The bedroom slide is cable. Coming around to the side, you've got a 30 pound propane. On the off-door side of the trailer, you have the Suburban propane water heater. You also have your furnace going into the pass-through. You have the Nautilus system with your black and gray tank pools. The other two slides on the off-door side, one be in the kitchen, the other one be in the living room, are both hydraulic rack and pinion. This trailer's got a robust suspension. It's got the Moride CRE 3000, and it's got the heavy-duty shackle kit and wet bolts. It's sitting on 16-inch Goodyear Endurance tires, and it has the Lippert Ground Control 3.0 leveling system. What's great about this unit, it has a mini fridge and a griddle. We're really impressed. This has the Moride steps and the Moride safety rail right from the factory. Those are upgrades that we did to our paradigm. This is the design for all of your panels. You've got your slide panels, your black tanks, you can monitor your battery. Everything is toggle switch based, which we love because it's simplistic and it's less likely to fail. You're not gonna have any problems. You've got a thermostat, max air controller, and you've got the progressive dynamics that tells you exactly the state of charge on your battery. Look at this fabulous kitchen. I love the solid surface countertops. You have plenty of space in here. Oh my gosh, 30 inch residential microwave. You've got a three burner stovetop oven and plenty of storage all around. You have three drawers on this side, plenty of space underneath the sink farm style sink with this little sprayer that looks residential. One of the things I like, you can see here, you got three different tones on the back wall or the back splash, we'll call it, of the oven. You've got a gray textured pattern to the right. You've got the whitewashed tan, and then you have a white and gray solid surface countertop. The contrasting colors come together very nicely to give good dimension to this trailer. Directly above the stove is a Max Air fan, which is wonderful for exhausting any heat or fumes that come off when you're cooking. So keep in mind, this is a prototype, so they are gonna add some more features to this beautiful coach. This pantry is huge, I love it. In the future, this one will be backlit. We have a very nice Furion fridge. It's residential style and size. The left side is the freezer. The right side is the refrigerator. It's got a French door opening. This is huge. That's gonna be plenty of fridge to haul all the food you need for a family. They give you a beautiful, spacious coffee bar with two pop lights. You got an MCD shade and plenty of cabinet space to store all your goodies. One of the things that I like that they did on the design so far is they left this open. So all the cabinets go straight across. You don't have barriers, which means if you have long items, you're able to put it in here above the sofa or in above the TV. 100 inch U-shaped dinette has some cool features to it. Of course, the table goes down so you can actually create a bed out of it. It has storage under all the cushions and it has two doors on each side so you can store things. This is a great use of space. Underneath, you have two electrical outlets for your 120 volt plugs. The storage above the dinette goes the full length of the dinette, which means you could put something up here 100 inches long. And the nice part is it's got frosted glass so you're not gonna see your junk. I love the color of the theater chairs. Look at this, you have storage, couple cup holders. Best part, it reclines. You know what I like about the recliner is that it's actually a manual and not an electric because you're able to put your feet down far quicker than you can on the electric. I always get a little impatient. I'm like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You push a button, it's like Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> this, if you need to get up and go, there you go. One of the cool things that Alliance does that we absolutely love is they give you this big, beautiful atrium windows. It lets in all this natural light. You know I'm a gadget guy. You know I love doing my upgrades and Alliance listens to the customers. One of the things that they did is they put a full motion mount on this television. They also finished it off in the back and they have shelves, which I love. That's what we did to our paradigm. They put in a sound bar, 
something else we did, and they have an electric fireplace, which we love. They put in a cool little nook right here. This is a coat hook, and they're, in the future models, they're gonna have a fold-out chair here, so you're gonna have somewhere to come in, hang up your jacket, and take your shoes off. This is really innovative. I love what they did. One of the neat features that Alliance does is completely flush floors. No toe breakers on any of the slides. They have it set up so that when the slide goes out, it drops into place. The other thing they do that is wonderful is they don't put any vents on the floor. So you don't have to worry about catching junk as you're walking through and falling into your HVAC system. And Chris and I were pet owners. So another thing we love, no carpets. All right, Martha, what's behind door number two? Actually, it's two doors. Let's check out these French doors. See what's inside. You have your own private room. You can use this, it's multi-purpose. You have a sofa over here, which converts into a sofa bed. Across from your couch, they actually put in a little desk. You can put a TV up on this wall. You have a couple plugs. This is fantastic. Not only that, if you convert this to a bedroom, you have a little closet and a drawer. A cool feature that they added to this trailer is the shoe storage right here. When you come into the stairs, you come up, and to the left is the ladder for the loft or the mid bunk. They integrated it directly into the design so you don't have to worry about a ladder out in the hallway. The other thing that I really like about this, there's no railing, it's walled off. So it's safe for the kiddos. You don't have to worry about them to fall off. You have power, lights, and a really nice window. All right, here's the 6-2 test. Do I fit? Yes, I do. I will say that I'm very fortunate that they have a skylight. That does help. Without the skylight, this would be impossible for me. It's got three glass doors on the shower. I do like the fact that they've got it on a stainless handle so I can move this around. Makes it really easy to shower. Nice surround and a fiberglass molded bottom. This is a good setup. In the bathroom here, you've got three coat hooks that are on the back wall. You have a linen closet that I really like. They run The design runs the full length of the shower, so you have a ton of storage behind the shower. The floor is heated and ducted, but it's not in the floor. It's on the wall. You've got a Dometic foot flush toilet. You have a very nice medicine cabinet. You have, of course, a GFI outlet, stainless steel bowl, solid surface countertop, and two doors underneath to store all your stuff. This is a good size Bathroom for this trailer, I like it. I got plenty of room and it also has a max air fan on the inside. You have a huge massive closet. It's plumb for washer and dryer. They have shelves in the back, plenty of space to put your clothes. They give you six dresser drawer and the hidden storage that we love. As it's configured right now, you've got an RV King mattress, 72 by 80. You've got both 12 volt and 120 volt and you have pop lights above the bed. You have a barn door to close off the bedroom. It's ducted AC in here, Coleman mock system. It has another Coleman mock AC in the main living area, so it's a 50 amp coach. And I love the pendant lights. We didn't talk about that much, but I really like the design. They did a great job with that. We hope you enjoyed the tour of the Alliance Avenue 37 MBR. This prototype is definitely gonna be a winner. Yeah, we love how spacious it is, the extra room, how the mid bunk is innovative, yep. and that it's plumb for washer and dryer with the king bed, uh, RV king bed. RV king, that's <laughs> correct. So this is gonna be a great family unit. You have three different sleeping areas. Technically you have four, mm -hmm. but the best part is that everybody's gonna have their own space, which I really like. And if you really want privacy, you've got a bedroom and a mid bunk room, plus you can stick kiddos out on the dinette. Yeah, and what did they say the MSRP was going to be roughly? About 90,000 MSRP. So, of course, work with your dealer and, you know, get it as low as you can. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed this tour. We were thrilled to be the first to share it with you all, and we hope you love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this full tour of this beautiful new prototype of the Alliance Avenue 37 MBR. If you want to get the inside track of what's going on, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We get the information ahead of everybody. Why? Because we're Alliance Ambassadors. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications when our videos drop, and enjoy every moment. Absolutely.